Well, first of all, can I thank the organisers for inviting me to come. This is not the sort of meeting I would normally be attending. <laughs> uh, and uh, David has made the point, you see, I have found myself standing with him on civil liberties issues in a way that some people have not understood, but which I've always understood because I think the right for civil liberties and individual rights uh, stands against all attempts to dominate people's opinions. So that's why I've done it and I'm very proud to have done it and I'm very proud to have gone and supported him. I doubt whether my support got you many votes, but uh, at any rate you're back again and, uh, and it was worth doing. But uh, as I get older, and I'll be 85 in a week or two, I think more and more about, uh, you know, what we're up against. And uh, if you look back over human history, we, we measure it according to the technology of the time. We talk about the Stone Age, when stones were the only things people had to do anything with. Then we talk about the Railway Age, and we talk about the Industrial Age, and then we talk about the Computer Age. And the speed of technical change is absolutely phenomenal. I worked out the other day that uh, when my great-grandfather was born in 1821, there were no railway trains that had been invented. When my uh, grandfather was born in 1850, no telephone. When my mother was born in 1897, there were no, no aeroplane had left the surface of the earth. When I was born, there was no television. When my children were born, there was no internet. And the speed of technical change is phenomenal. But the, the real political question is, what do you do with the powers you've acquired? It's what you do with them, not, you know, what they, how wonderful they are. And I think civil liberties have become a very, very big issue because of the misuse of the capacity now to keep a record on everybody. I was going to the House of Commons the other day in my car, and I was stopped uh, just outside the House of Commons by a young policewoman and I told her who she asked me to and I said what's this and she said I'm stopping you under the Prevention of Terrorism Act. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first proper use I've heard of. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, she said what's your name so I told her and she said how do you spell it so I told her and she went through my car looking for bombs and I said, as I'm very polite, because I'm not in favour of uh, uh, having a dust up, but I said, why have you done that? Well, she said, you're approaching a building of great sensitivity. <laughs> this is the House of Commons. And I said, yes, I've got a meeting there, so she let me go by. But that feeling, if I had been a Muslim with a beard, <coughs> interested in chemistry, I had a sort of feeling that would have had a slightly different feel. And uh, you've got to be very, very careful. I don't mind when I go to a hospital if all my medical symptoms are on a, a, a computer base so when the doctor sees me he knows that exactly what's wrong with me and doesn't try to amputate a leg when I... <laughs> I, I am in favour of that use of, of science but not for the control of people and that's what this is about and that's why I greatly admire David's stand on these matters and why I think we shall win in the end because my experience of, uh, of, of progressive change is very simple. If you come up with a new idea, for example, votes for women, to begin with, it was ignored. Then after a while, uh, they said, you must be stark staring mad to suggest women should have the vote. Then uh, there was a pause that if people went on, they became dangerous and they were locked up. Then there was a pause, then you couldn't find anyone at the top who didn't claim to have thought of it in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> So this campaign, I don't know whether it's being ignored, but not now, I think, whether it's being seen as uh, mad or dangerous, I don't know, but I know that if such a broad spectrum of opinion as we have in this movement comes together, in the end you'll find everyone at the top claims to have thought of it. And I look forward to the day when uh, there are uh, nobody, there, nobody about who thinks it's sensible to keep us all on a database and watch everything we do. Yeah. So thank you for asking me.